Hello, welcome to another video by me, Liz Robson, CEO and founder of Worth It, um, specialist in well-being, whole school approaches to well-being and the early prevention of mental health problems in children and young people. So on the 10th of October, we have World Mental Health Day coming up. So World Mental Health Day is an important day to raise awareness of mental health. Now, uh, this video is going to talk about ideas that schools can do for World Mental Health Day. So I have many thoughts about World Mental Health Day and um, depending on how you use it, it can be brilliant or an epic fail. So let's talk about what can make it an epic fail first. Get the, get the bad news out of the way first. So World Mental Health Day can be an epic fail for your school if it's the only thing you do to support mental health. So because of the chronic stress issues that teachers are experiencing and facing, there is a lot of tokenistic and piecemeal and, dare I say, even detrimental practice that's going on, all people meaning well and meaning, um, and make, you know, doing it for the right reason, in, you know championing mental health day for the right reason but because they don't understand the wider implications and the context and the issues that are going on in their school setting it can actually be worse than doing nothing at all so let's talk about that first so why do I say that so what the the, the thing is that so I'm an organisational psychologist and I used to teach uh, organisational workplace wellbeing. And um, one of the things that we need to think about when we think about workplace wellbeing is um, how we are creating systems and structures and organisations and schools that are supporting mental health in the first place. So if you have a highly stressed workforce with high um, demands placed on them and no real support for their well-being or they feel that they don't have support for their well-being and then you say let's do a mental health day they're going to be like f off this is load of crap like because you clearly don't care about our mental health because we're so stressed we're so overworked we feel terrible and then you want to take time out of our busy time to talk about all this stuff that basically is a load of crap so I have heard that lots of times and it is a real issue. So if you want to do a World Mental Health Day, make sure that you are doing it as part of a systematic approach to developing whole school well-being and you're not seeing it as a be all and end all answer that's going to help improve everyone's well-being because without sustainable systems and processes and accountability and regular um, processes and um, that help people to improve their well-being on a regular basis, then you might as well just not bother at all. That's my controversial view on World Mental Health Day, is if you're going to do it badly, don't do it, because it can actually make things worse, and it can stir up a can of worms that you might not be able to deal with. So, now that's out of the way. Maybe I can make a whole video about why not to do World Mental Health Day. Now, here is why to do World Mental Health Day. So this year's theme for World Mental Health Day is mental health is a human right. That's an interesting theme, isn't it? So uh, let me just double check the actual language on their website. So, uh, so their World Mental Health Day have got a website. It, mental health is a universal human right. Hmm. So in one of the Facebook groups I'm in, for school mental health leads um they're saying oh i don't, don't really know what to do about that theme and i think the reason why that might be is because when people see the words mental health they think mental health problem so they think anxiety they think depression they think severe and enduring mental illness they think schizophrenia they think bipolar disorder they think eating disorder they think um all these illnesses mental health illnesses okay or mental illness was there's a real confusion around terminology about what mental health means out there so one of my first tips and recommendations for your world mental health day day in your school is no matter whether it's for teachers or for students is to ask the question what does mental health mean to us and get a clear definition. 
So once you know what that clear definition is, so for me, when I talk about mental health, I'm a positive psychologist. So when I talk about mental health, it means flourishing. It means positive mental health. It means feeling good, functioning well, day to day and overall. Helping people move towards flourishing and having positive mental health. Helping people learn and use positive psychology and coaching strategies that help them feel good and function well most of the time. No one's perfect. No one's going to be statically having amazing well-being all the time. You have to actively work at it. It's a constant process. It is as hard as trying to lose weight or trying to um, run the marathon or trying to train for something or trying to do um, weight watches or something like that. So you have to look at strategies for mental health and well-being as a as a process that you engage in on a daily, hourly regular basis until it becomes a habit that you just do automatically so whenever anything like world mental health day is a bit of a one-off it's a bit of a here's some tips and ideas and let's all do a savoring activity with a raisin and meditate and uh, do yoga and bake a cake it's kind of pointless and meaningless Whereas if you're like, here's some well-being strategies that we are strategically embedding into our curriculum and we are doing in our policies process in place, we are going to then take these forwards for the rest of the academic year. Say the focus is on empathy or the focus is on kindness or the focus is on active listening or the focus is on developing positive emotions or feeling pride or feeling joy or um, we're focusing on strengths or um, celebrating success or um, spotting strengths in another person. All of those are positive psychology strategies. You might just do one for your whole academic year and use World Mental Health Day to launch that idea. That is an effective use of World Mental Health Day. Using that day as a day to act as a, a launch pad to really promote stuff that you are planning on developing strategically anyway. So some ideas that we have got and we've got on our website as well is using World Mental Health Day to help make mental health a priority every day. So it's kind of just a reminder. It's a check in. It's a promotional thing. It's bringing it to everyone's attention, bringing it to everyone's awareness. But actually, it is a opportunity to just really enhance stuff that you're doing already or stuff you want to build another layer on and take forward even further. And again, it doesn't have to be different for staff than it does for students. Just maybe your angle might be different. So again, like I said earlier about the teachers, if the students are all completely stressed out and then you're saying, oh, let's focus on well-being or mental mental health and making it a priority, they'll feel like it's insincere if you re- they genuinely can't see that it's actually changing and that things are actually being, you know, moving forward and making a difference. So things that we would suggest can help and you could do on a World Mental Health Day activity, they don't have to be complicated or fancy. In fact, the simpler, the better. So continue to encourage open conversations about mental health between staff, pupils and parents. So this is a chance to have conversations about what mental health means, that it's okay to talk about mental health, that we that we have a spectrum of mental health problems, issues and positive mental health. And which one are we focusing on in this particular event? I would say this year's theme is a lot more about positive mental health. I think World Mental Health Week last year was this year was um, the theme was anxiety. So that's a mental health problem, isn't it? That's not mental health. Having a theme of anxiety isn't health. But um, mental health as a human right, I would say, is about our right as humans to flourish and grow and have good well-being. So conversations on your World Mental Health Day need to be things like, how do I feel good? How do I function well? What helps me to do that? What helps me to do that more? What helps me to do that as a student, pupil? What helps me to do that as a teacher, a less member of SLT, a head teacher, a member of staff? How can I function well better day to day and overall? And then you might have a few different stuff for them to try, to help them fl- to try out. But then it's about almost coaching them on how can you do that more? How can you embed that into your day to day life so it becomes a habit? Okay, so again, you might want to do sharing resources, articles, books, websites, etc. My issue with self-help is it's so passive. 
it's so like well i gave you a book to read why didn't you read it and uh you know your own worst enemy and all that kind of thing but if people are so stressed and so burning out they're not going to appreciate you suggesting a website to look at or a book to read they need practical tangible things that are actually going to help and work and so they feel that they are heard and listened to and that might be taking workload off of them that might be changing the way you do marking or um the way you communicate or less emails or less meetings those things are mental health that, that help make mental health a human right, all those practical things. So I think people can get lost in thinking about this as an abstract concept, whereas actually it's the day-to-day -day things that add up to help you feel good and function well day-to-day -day and overall. Okay, so promoting healthy coping mechanisms. So how do you feel good? How do you function well? So stress reduction would be part of functioning well. And then anything that makes you feel that feeling of contentment, joy, happiness, success is feeling good. So that's a positive emotional effect. So how do we feel that more? So one thing that a lovely activity to do is um, strength-based feedback. So saying to a colleague, I noticed that you had this strength when you helped me with the student. I was really struggling and I showed real kindness and understanding and give that feedback to your colleague because then they'll get a warm fuzzy feeling inside. So that's the feeling of positive effect. And that has a transformational spiraling effect which helps improve well-being for everyone. Um, also, it improves peer-to-peer -peer relationships either with children or with staff, which then automatically improves well-being. So positive relationships are a foundation of any whole school approach to well-being. So if you do a team building day and you do loads of fun stuff, and like go out to um, um go out to a adventure sports uh, place we did that with a whole cohort of teachers from a primary we took them to an away day uh, outdoor pursuit center and we did a load of stuff around resilience and well-being it was amazing they they bonded so it was brilliant it was a brilliant experience it was really fun I was staying in little huts uh, and camped out in the tents. <laughs> and yeah, I had a great time. Um, so, um, so how, so they could, could, because they were bonding as a team, because they were building positive relationships and they're having that active reflection on how do they recognize their strengths? How do they be resilient? How can they do that more? Um, plan opportunities to embed mental health into the curriculum. So, or into, um, you know, HR processes. Um, all different processes systems and ways of working in your school so how can you use world mental health day to think about how do we do more for well-being in the curriculum that is about making it a human right for all of our children and our pupils to have good well-being and have positive mental health Plan, um, continue to foster a sense of belonging, community and connectedness. So the actual fact you're having this day in the first place, hopefully, will bring in that belonging, connection and community a feeling because you're all getting together and having it as just a team celebration day. So don't underestimate that. If you're doing it within this wider context of a consistent approach to well-being over time, do not do it as a one off. That's my major thing. Do not do this as a one and done. Then never talk about it again until next year. Um, that is worse than not doing anything at all. Um, how do you how are you finding opportunities for staff to develop autonomy, competence and relatedness, which is self-determination theory? Look at my video on self-determination theory that is from a young person's perspective but it does apply to any human being so in order to have good well-being the foundations of human flourishing are connectedness relatedness and autonomy so even if you're taking the time on world mental health day to redesign or job craft or look at the different ways you are um doing stuff and changing it you are improving their well-being and their mental health because you are helping build autonomy and competence and relatedness through the process of those conversations um most ask people what support do they think they need the more you involve people's voice the more you ask them what do you want and need the more you help them co-design and co-create things in your school systems processes curriculums policies ways of working interventions the more they feel heard and listened to and they see things changing 
that will make them feel like it is their human right to have good mental health. And prioritise staff well-being as part of your whole school approach. Oh no, the Duf Department for Education in England is, champ you know, saying that focus on students' mental health is important for learning. Absolutely, I don't disagree with that. Of course, it is. In order to have that, you need to um, have good staff well-being, good staff that are ha happy and contented, enjoying their job, feeling fulfilled, having a purpose, and finding meaning in their work. Teaching is one of the most meaningful professions, but because of the nature of the systems and processes and structure and scrutiny and uh, pressure and workload, it can get lost. So getting in touch with meaning again and how how do I find meaning in my work and how do I find my purpose again as a teacher, as a as a TA, as a school leader, whatever. Um, even as like non you know non teaching staff, school support staff, the the office team, people who the Reaper graphics team, whoever you've got in your school, how do they find meaning in their work and how is that helping improve their mental health and well-being? Just having a conversation about that and getting them to touch base with that and giving them space and time to reflect in this such a busy, busy time. They're so, so busy all the time that they don't have time to just like reflect and think and get in touch with what it what matters to them and how it makes them feel. So there are just a few ideas. We have a whole article on our website, which I'll link to um, on the page below. We have on our website downloadable resources that you can print off and use as students for secondary and primary age is uh, some well-being tips and ideas that can promote positive mental health. The theme for this year is kind of vague and generic, um, and you can really do anything with it. But as long as you have at the core the concept that when you're talking about mental health for this World Mental Health Day, you're talking about positive mental health and well-being and making that a human right for everyone. So until the next video, please like and subscribe and share my video so more people can see it and more people can understand really how to develop a whole school approach to positive mental health and well-being. So I'll be back again soon.